All right, today I'm going to talk about uh, mirror support and LVM reduce. So LVM has had bug point for just about forever, and in the last few years, it'll also LVM reduce. But those only go so far as to help you reduce your LVM IR, which isn't necessarily helpful when you're debugging cogen failures. So recently, I've been getting bombarded with register allocation problems of all sorts, and they're extremely difficult to reduce. They are very sensitive to any minor code change, and if you they bit rock incredibly quickly, so if you do not reduce your test case, it probably won't reproduce in a month. So uh, if I try to use bug point LVM reduce IR support, I can often not get these below thousands of instructions, which is still just completely unworkable and isn't like a stable test case to commit. So after spending way too much time doing these, I added a bunch of support to help with mere reduction. And every time I look at one of these, I find three more, and every one of those is just difficult to reduce, and it's just unmanageable. So the way you use it, it's basically the same as for LVM reduce normally, except now you've got mirror inputs, and your test scripts probably look different. Like, here are some basic examples. And the implementation just sort of fits mostly cleanly inside of LVM reduce because as mirror isn't really full-fledged IR, it's really just operating on the same IR, and then there's just like one indirection to look at your machine function. And overall, it's just way more difficult to reduce mirror than the IR. It's more difficult to produce something that's plausibly valid while just deleting things. And you sort of have three different sets of rules you need to follow all at the same time. And the, you don't necessarily want to special case any of them. So there are very important structural differences. So the mirror doesn't have values. It has virtual registers. And in the IR, it's like a constant. And you can just sort of replace all your values with that constant. And that works out fine. But uh, for Instructions, you need to actually find a location to place that. You also would like to consider register liveness to produce something that actually will pass the verifier and produce something useful. And the control flow graph is a pretty different representation, too. In the IR, it's sort of implicitly tracked, and you have three-ish terminator instructions that can have successors, and uh, everything can understand those easily. But it's more complicated in the mirror because it's target dependent. There is sort of two CFGs at the same time because there's the actual terminate instructions and then the block also independently tracks the successors and predecessors. You also have fall through blocks, which higher level IR doesn't have and your terminators may not be able to analyze them at all. And because we don't have undef uh, constants, you have to have some kind of block pointer to replace it with. So if we need to delete a block and we need a reference to it, we have to put some dummy undef block at the end of the function with no instructions. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that the high level IR doesn't represent that we might like to reduce. So for, here's some sample mirror and we have a lot of the same kind of reductions, just try to delete instructions. Uh, we also can individually reduce the uses and def operands. Uh, unlike the high level IR, an instruction can't have multiple results. So we try to insert multiple impl implicit defs for each one of those. And if it's an implicit operand, we can just completely remove it from the operand list. Uh, as this mirror is not a full-fledged IR, we do have some back references to the IR, which are handy to remove because then you can make your test case you eventually commit a lot smaller. So we can rip out all these references in the machine memory operands and for the frame indexes and for the basic block references. Also interesting with the register allocation failures is there are some register hints that we can try to remove. And there's also some, some fancier stuff like register masks that on, look, appear on things like calls and state points or anything. And then we have the instruction flags just like the high level IR. So you do have to do some work in your target if you want to make use of this, because targets have machine function info, uh, which they store their custom data in, but most targets are still not implementing the mirror serialization required to round trip your compiles through mirror. Uh, and then you have to support copying them, which is pretty easy. It was usually unexpected, because most targets, they're storing some simple registers or frame indexes, and those values remain constant between the cloned and the original function. But any pointer values need to be wrapped. So like some of these stuff has, so if like you have a block pointer, you need to do something about that. Uh, so there are a whole a lot of issues I've been fighting, mostly related to the machine verifier, uh, particularly when it comes to register liveness, because there are two verification paths for liveness in the machine verifier. One of them uses live intervals and one doesn't, and the one without live intervals is way buggier. It catches things that are, it misses things that are obviously broken, like missing use defs inside the entry block if you have an, a use in the entry block. Uh, and it doesn't check any server uses. So we have some cases that are ambiguously valid that become invalid when you have server liveness enabled, which seems like a defect, but uh, whatever. So when you're using the machine verifier with live intervals, it, without live intervals, it becomes this 
sort of intractable problem where live intervals is expecting valid mirror to compute the live intervals, but then you kind of can't use your verifier to check if you're producing invalid reduction if the verifier can't handle, or the live interval construction can't handle invalid mirror. So it does break on some things, like it wasn't expecting to handle unreachable blocks because the current cogen pipeline happens to always delete those. So when you're running just raw mirror passes, you can break that. Uh, so th th we have a, a host of infrastructure users that could improvement. Uh, like I mentioned, the targets are not fully serialized in the machine function info, so it's probably not useful if you have anything that's sensitive to the. Uh, there's still a lot of generic stuff that isn't serialized, like there's a whole mess of ex exception handling stuff that is not serialized. Also, live intervals isn't the most well-behaved analysis because it does actually modify the mirror when you just by computing it. It sometimes introduces new virtual registers on just by computing it, and it will set flags on operands, which you might not want. And there's some stateful clutter in machine model info. It seems to have been a bunch of random things are set in selection DAG to communicate to the ASM printer. Uh, I fixed some of that, but I believe what's left is mostly harmless for terms of cogen passes, but it still looks not clean and requires more thinking about than would be necessary. And I had a lot of difficulty with some cases using interprocedure register allocation because start before and stop after don't really work with multiple functions because they just sort of trigger on the first function on the first time that sees a pass. So if you require compiling multiple functions, it doesn't keep going to the point we actually care about. So currently it's a bit rough, but is usable. Uh, the highest value reduction, the block reduction, I think, is not upstream yet. It's on Fabricator. Uh, I've been able to make a lot of progress on some of these failures we've been dealing with, but it is a lot, it is kind of difficult. Uh, particularly given my original implementation of the block re uh, reduction used the liveness implementation extracted from the machine verifier, which has the odd side effect of producing invalid reductions because the things that live intervals would have caught are by get through, so you end up with this invalid reduction. So I, I, I sort of was able to hack through this by running reduc specific reductions in specific orders to work around these bugs, which was still a lot better than what I used to do, which was manually delete things and hope it was valid. So a lot of these test cases I'm dealing with are take a super long time to compile, so the cost of having invalid reductions is quite high, and a lot of these, the, the instruction reduction in particular does not try to consider the liveness when it's deleting things, and it really should because that would cut down on a lot of the invalid reductions it's wasting time on. And unsurprisingly, this is basically a fuzzer at this point, so I found a whole bunch of bugs with undef register handling, which is what most of the bugs in the register allocator end up being, particularly undef subregisters. So in the future, I'm, I'm trying to get live intervals to be more tolerant of invalid code. Uh, I have patches for some things it wasn't expecting to handle, like it didn't expect to handle generic registers without a register class associated with them and only like an LLT. And it also needs to tolerate invalid, uh, unreachable code. I would also like a separate pass from the block reduction to simplify the CFG because some of the things that are some of the, 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 the fact that there's a block there itself is potentially interesting if you have a fall through. So I don't think it's correct for the block reduction to just implicitly clean up your control flow. And we're not really doing a whole lot with physical registers right now, which would be nice. So here are some um, reviews that are waiting for this. I, I, I need to, I probably need to rewrite the block reduction to use the live intervals, but that's tied in with all those other issues I talked about. And uh, thanks to Marcus Levin for starting this, finally. Uh, that's it.